our seniors in Sky Community School, um, class 6, JHS 1. Class 6, you know when you are in your BC, in the next uh, four years, JHS 1, in the next three years. So, your preparation is a bit different, okay? I'm going to give you a simple diagram. Um, it's all part of the revision that we are doing. It's part of the revision that we are doing. A simple diagram which will give you a summary of what the computer is, the different parts. When you have a look at this diagram, it should give you a, a vivid idea of what a computer is. And it's one of the easiest ways to learn about the computer. Then from there, we can start using its, um, its parts. We can start going into the software, how to work with the software and other parts. So if you're ready, just look on the board and then let's see how far we can go. Now, so the, the study of ICT definitely has is centered around the computer. The computer has two main parts, which we all know. Everyone in class one knows that. Class two, they know. Three, four, five, six, they all know that. So the two main parts of the computer are what? The hardware. And then the software. Okay. Now, there are different kinds of software, if, um, of hardware. If I ask you to mention them, you would have to, let's say, try to think, uh, think aloud and, and you may end up forgetting some or remembering some. But it's a simple way you can remember the, all the types of hardware that we have. And that way is what I'm going to show you. So now, there are different kinds of hardware and their names are known by the, the, the function that they perform. So first of all, we have input hardware. The input, this is a revision, so don't forget these things. Input hardware, what is used to put data into the computer, right? So that, those are input hardware. And then we have processing hardware. And then we have output hardware, okay? And then we have the storage hardware. And in some jurisdictions, they even add a final one, which is communication hardware. So the computer being an electronic device that is used to change data, convert data into meaningful information, which is used in making decisions, right? And the two main parts being the hardware and then the software. Then on the hardware, we have the input hardware, processing hardware, output hardware, storage hardware, and then the communication hardware. I'm not going to make things easy for you because there's a revision. There are things that you are supposed to know before we even continue. I'm only helping you to make it easier for you. So input hardware. What types of hardware do you think are used to put data into the computer? I used to feed the computer with data. Um, mm -hmm. If I start, you have to finish for the rest. So let me start. Um, so is the mouse used to put data into the computer or used to take data out of the computer? Is the keyboard used to put data into the computer or used to take information out of the computer? What about the keyboard? Okay. So now you know that the keyboard, computer keyboard, is an example of an input hardware. Comma. The comma means there's something more. There are lots of input hardware that you have to try and then put there. There are there are about eight or nine of them. And there are some which are both input and other forms of hardware. Okay, so I'll give you one example. Processing. Processing. The most common of them is what I'm going to specify here. Processing hardware is a very small tool that does a lot of work, work in the computer. So when data is fed into the computer, what happens? It has to be changed. It has to be worked on. Just like corn goes through the mail, data also goes through a certain mail. That mail that does the work is the CPU. It's a small chip. Okay. So that is a processing hardware. Output hardware. I mentioned one when I was talking about the input hardware, which is the what are you watching me on? On a particular screen, a monitor. Okay. It means there are other examples. If you want other forms of output, you know, printer is there. The inputs, you know that. There's scanner. Don't forget. You put your picture.
picture, it changes that picture into soft copy, it feeds the computer with something. Okay, you should know this. So make sure you write an example. Storage. So storage. Store storing the the, the information that you have that has been processed by the computer. Mention one storage hardware. I'm going to mention one. And that is a hard disk. There are other examples. Um, there are other examples. In today's world, but there are so many examples. There are some which come into handy. Some are in your parents' phones. And I've given you an idea of what to do, of some of the examples. And then the communication hardware, which I said is not in most books. The communication hardware tells you that after the computer stores information, sometimes it communicates. It helps you to also communicate to other people, other computers. Um, one of them is the um, uh, the one we, we, we the common one is the modem. The modem. Sometimes people even refer to the pen drive as a communication hardware because it's used to transfer information from one computer to other to the other. So I put a comma there. Make sure you complete that. Now under software, so we, we are done with hardware. Now we go to software. The software, <laughs> the examples mentioned them. Operate, operating system software. Application and then utilities. Sometimes they combine utilities and drivers. Um, utilities and drivers. There, there's another form of software which is okay. I will, I will not tell you that. So the operating system software. What were you told? was the main difference between these three forms of software, the operating system. Okay, so the operating system runs the computer. It's like the soul of the computer. It is on that software that other softwares run. Okay, without the operating system, no other software can run on a particular PC. So you are aware that without the software, the hardware is lifeless, it is dead, because it's the software that runs the hardware. Now under the software, we have the specific operating system software, which is made up of the, 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 the software that runs on which other applications run. Okay, when you look at the application software, as we were told, the application softwares only do specific things. So for instance, there's a software that tells the time. There's a software that is used to type letters. There's a software that is used to record songs. There's a software that is used to draw uh, there's a software that we can play games on. All those applications, so they are used to do specific things. But all those applications run on the operating system software. Okay, do you get the difference now? Alright, and then the utilities. The utilities are just patches. We call them patches, um, drivers. They are not, they are just portions of, um, they are just portions of individual softwares that enhance the work of the operating system software and the application software. Sometimes, sometimes they can be updated. Sometimes they can be updated. But for most times, they are just applications that are created on their own. Maybe something that can improve a particular sound quality or something that can improve um, a, a particular video quality and then you just download it and then you, you, you are good to go. Okay, so look at this whole diagram and not just leave it, complete it. I haven't completed it. Input. There are so many inputs, hardware, I haven't completed. Processing, I haven't completed. Output, I, have, I haven't done that. Storage, I haven't done that. Communication, I haven't done that. When it comes to the operating system, we'll go deep into it. So that one, you realize that I haven't given you examples. I've only explained them to you because there are quite a number of operating system applications, uh, softwares. Application softwares, quite a number. Uh, utilities, drivers, there are quite a number with their names. We'll take our time and go deep into this side very well. All right, if you have any questions, remember to send it. You can send it to myself or Uncle Kobe. Uncle Kobe is on the page. So once you send it on the page, we'll also get to, to answer it. Uncle Prince is also there. I am also there. Just learn hard and make sure that you listen to your parents as we always say. And if you need to step out, wear a mask, wash your hands with soap and the running water. Okay, and then observe social distancing. And remember that you're going to write BCC.